My name is Alex and I'm going to show you how to draw a werewolf in Photoshop. So I've started with my body because the difference between a wolf and a werewolf for those who don't know is that a werewolf is part human. So I just went ahead and started with my body and hopefully you will have two. And there are three feature, four features that are going to make your werewolf look realistic. The first one is obviously the head. So I'm going to start with that. And if it helps, just you can pull up an image of a wolf uh, to get the idea. I'm going to have my werewolf kind of howling. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw the shapes that will define it wolf-like. We've got this shape here. And and then what I'm going to do is add a layer and then draw on top of that. You want to make sure that there's a lot of hair because werewolves are very furry. And then you can draw your ears and you can really draw them however you want because the cool thing about werewolves is they're totally customizable. And you kind of, werewolves are supposed to be evil-ish looking, so I like to add this kind of lower, lowered lid look. And I like to have it so it's like that. You can get rid of this underneath. He's howling. And you want to add the ear details. And then, so what I'm going to do is add, I'm actually going to make that head a little smaller. And then I'm going to add another layer over the body, and I'm going to start adding hair details. And the Best way to do hair details is literally lines. Just like this. And then you can make scraggly ones if you want. Make them on the shoulders because. And you can add them on the arms. And the way I like to do it is just kind of like this. So then you've got your body hair, and you can also add it to the legs if you want. And then what I'm going to do is add another layer and make a hand. This is the second element of importance for a werewolf. They have claws instead of, or you know, pawed hands. those hairy too. And then if you're doing a symmetrical image like this, you can just hold down uh, alt or option and just drag it, free transform it, and flip it horizontally so then it goes right onto that other arm. And then you want to add some feet, similar, similar idea, just make sure that it's got, make sure these look more paw-like though. This isn't my best werewolf drawing, but it's a very basic tutorial so you can understand the main points of a werewolf and what will make it look different from a wolf slash a human. And then the last detail you want to add is the tail. This is probably going to be your most important factor besides the head. There you have your very basic werewolf. My name is Alex, and this is how you draw a werewolf in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.